Within six months, we grew that to the third fastest growing branch in the world. I got super lucky. So any anybody who's, who's had a lot of success as an entrepreneur, and they don't say that luck is a part of it, I think it's bullshit. Hard to kill. Then I, I took a job into the staffing industry, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, I never even knew that that industry existed. Mm -hmm. Like you don't go to college and they don't tell you that there's companies that pay other companies to find them talent. Yeah. But apparently it's a hundred and fifty billion dollar year industry. Um, so I worked for this national company, Robert Half, for for three years, and again thought differently about how to do it and. Uh, kind of put my own nuances on it, became one of their top producers in, in a six state or six or eight state region, and then got a chance to become a manager of a branch and took a lot of my, a lot of the things that I was doing that I thought were different. And uh, within six months, we grew that to the third fastest growing branch in the world for, uh, for that company. And then is that time where I thought like, I think I can do this on my own. And um, I got super lucky. So any, anybody who's, who's had a lot of success as an entrepreneur, they don't say that luck is a part of it. I think it's bullshit. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. um, for me, it was like, literally, okay, I want to start my own business. I have zero money to do it. Don't know anybody who has the money to do it. Um, but I met with, met with a guy. He had just left Robert Half where I was working. He was a couple, couple tiers up in management. And him and his brother uh, were just starting this distribution company where they were going to be the sole distributor in Ohio for this thing called Red Bull. No one had ever heard of it before. <laughs> they did pretty well. Um, and he, prior to him working at Robert Half, he had been a minority owner of a, of a staffing firm. And I met with him for dinner one night, and he's like, I think you can do this. And I think I might have somebody who will, who might be interested in investing in you. I'm like, out of Detroit, Michigan. I'm like, okay. Well, I don't know how to do a business plan or anything. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I had like a Excel spreadsheet and uh, drove up to Detroit, Michigan on a Saturday morning to meet this man. His name's George Morales. And, uh, and uh, met for like 45 minutes. And next thing you know, he called the next day and said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invest in you. I'm going to give you a, a quarter of a million dollars to, uh, to do this. And so that was luck number one. Yeah. Luck number two is that he, was, he invested in me. He was technically the majority owner, but was never in the business. He literally let me have this entrepreneurial experience full, fully. Like I made a ton of mistakes, mm -hmm. and um, but I, I was always failing forward, and he gave me that space to do that. And uh, as a result, I was able to really figure out how to grow this business and grow it in a meaningful way. And then I got really lucky in 2011 when I said, okay, I really want to buy you out. And he said, okay. And uh, within two weeks, I was able to get uh, a bank to finance me. And, it became became my own thing. By that time, we were, I don't mind talking about our sales, but that time in 2011, we were roughly about 25 million in sales. Fast forward from two, 10 years later, and we're at a run rate of about 170 million in, in sales. Wow. So uh, so that was an awesome gift that he gave me by, by allowing me to, to buy him out at that time.